Hey what's up friends this is Aruna and welcome to my channel for inspiration in which we teach photoshop photography lightroom illustrator cinema 4d after effects graphic designing logo designing and many more other things so this is a very special tutorial and this is my first tutorial for cinema 4d to make infographics that looks awesome so always so let's quickly start with this uh, um, cinema 4d uh, in the upper panel you will get all uh, Uh, shapes and all that and uh, firstly i will start with i want a floor so i want to add floor okay now again hold your mouse on this then you have this background i want background okay now these are the layer panel this is my layer panel if you click on any of the layer then you will get the further option for this layer and all that okay now i have to put material to it means i have to put texture to this to this floor okay now double click on this area then you will get the material option right okay mm, click on there double click now you have this color now color click on there and go to texture in texture we have this gradient in gradient i want click on this gradient then you have to uh, yeah, then you have available some options to edit the gradient now right click on this this pointer and i want to invert nox that's fine and uh, double click on there i want uh, light gray click on okay again double click on this i want dark gray nice very nice now you can see oh, white to gray tone you will get okay in the type i want vertical now it is now vertical now click on okay now hold your mouse and uh, drag it to floor okay we got this and uh, press control and uh, move your mouse to the background then it will automatically copy to this background same material okay now select both materials i want projection i want frontal that's fine okay if i render this you can see there then you can see the light a line here okay So right click on there uh cinema 4d tags then compositing in compositing uh unmark this self shading and uh, mark this compositing background that's fine now it is now removed now we got very awesome sleek background for this project i want to add uh, a shape of a cube now hold your mouse on this then you will get all these options I want cube okay right uh these are the panels uh for rotation for uh, change in angle if you want to change the view then this is the button rotation then if you want to zoom in and zoom out hold your mouse here and then apply to zoom in and uh, drag your mouse by holding this similarly here and you can change the view from this button okay mm. now you have these three x axis uh, this is my green and uh, hold this and make sure you have this chosen move tool this is your move tool okay now this is the position i want and uh, something like uh, this i want so firstly i will render it so this is my render result okay that's fine Mm, now i will make a light as well as material for this cube so firstly i will put a light click on light hold your mouse here then you will have the light option this is my light okay now go to more graph in more graph we have this cloner cloner i want to clone the light so select this light and drag it to and leave it here now it is attached to this cloner tool Uh, so like this cloner uh, i want to clone uh, mm, you can say radial okay and uh, how many how much distance we want this is the radius and how many light source i want okay now plane i want to uh, now it is you can see here it is vertical i want to make it horizontal x axis okay 
now select it and move your light position okay this is my light source there are about 29 light source you can say and you can increase the radius if you increase the radius you can see the effect and if i render this okay uh go to light and light and general tab then we have this shadow in shadow i will select this shadow maps soft i want soft shadows for this particular cube okay right now this time if i render this you can see the effect the shadows of this if i unmark this light source now see there no shadow is there the shadow is there because of this light okay now mark on this that's fine okay now i want to clone it this cube uh mm, so this is my cube selected as you can see here orange color now put press control on the keyboard then you have this two dots it means you can copy this cube okay now drag it here now drag it here okay now see here now i will render it now see the effect okay uh, again control uh, sorry this time i will press shift on the keyboard then select all cubes and uh, now press control then drag again press control and drag then you will get this okay mm, now i will select all these nine cubes by pressing shift and firstly i will select all these cubes okay now press control and drag now still all these are selected press control and drag now see there okay uh, i think i have to move the light source now select this light source and uh, okay now select this clone tool and uh, i want to move the light source now you can move it and uh, go to clone and uh, radius okay that's fine okay now make it zoom now firstly i will try to render it now see the effect that's looking awesome just awesome and i want to maintain the gap in between these cubes so to adjust the size to adjust the position select all cubes from here layers now you have this option okay now try to make it render uh, okay now the gap is okay now select all cubes and move all cubes around it now try to render it that's awesome okay now this time i have to create a material for this cubes okay now later we can adjust the position okay now double click on here now double click on this material in color i want to make a color uh, i think i will work with gradient i will try to make a gradient mm. okay now i want red to light red to dark red okay now see see this very nice gradient is here okay now click on okay i will try to put on one cube now okay now render it now it's looking cool very cool it's looking 
okay now similarly i will put uh, on different cubes that's fine now double click on here and make another material for this now again select color texture gradient in gradient i want uh, this time blue shade you can say okay that's fine this light blue to dark blue i want okay now see there very nice gradient is here okay now put this okay now double click on here and make another material now this time i want uh, you can say pure white okay now i will try to make it render that's looking very awesome uh, the rest of the boxes i want to put white material that's fine now make it render now you can see here okay i will change the angle so that we can maintain the light okay mm. Mm. this is to change the angle okay i want uh, firstly mm, select all cubes now you have this rotation tool now click on there then you will get the option to rotate it okay i want to rotate it like this that's fine and uh, i want to change the angle so that we can see it from the bottom now all cubes are selected click on this move tool and uh, move it to up now try to make it render okay mm, i think uh, I should change the angle so that we can uh, get better light on these all cubes. Okay, that's fine. I will do one thing for the material and uh, okay, now we are ready with this uh, position and all material and all that. Now this is my setting for this. Uh, now click on there then you have the effect then ambient i want uh, then global illumination i want now um, one more thing go to output and uh, adjust the size for width and height you want i want uh, about 14 um, and uh, height about you can say 772 that's fine i want mm. now this middle one is the button to render it click on there then it will be render now it is rendering okay now it is now rendered now see here it is looking nice and uh, i think its position should be more up uh, i think that's the right position and uh, one once i will render it here directly okay mm, if i work with the light uh, that's fine okay everything is fine and uh, okay now final render i will do that's fine now this is rendered now go to file and i want to save as uh, make sure i want 32 bits 
means high quality i want and uh, as well as png i want these two settings are best for the web now click on okay now it will ask to save and uh, i will save it graphic design okay now further i will work on this uh, using photoshop to put text and all that now i am in the photoshop this is my image that we have created in cinema 4d okay now select this text and uh, mm, that's fine i will take a selection i want uh, 13 that's fine now this is my text i want that's nice okay now control j control j two times And this is the text I want for this. Mm, control T to make it large. Okay, now mm, make a box here. And fill this color using this blue shade firstly. Mm, try to put effect to it. Okay, that's fine control T yes I want this position for this now control J control J control J okay that's fine double click on there I want to make this color and uh, this gray color that's fine now put your final title to it that should be info graphic design okay that's fine this is my infographic complete design Okay, that's fine okay now click on okay this is your final infographic design i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, keep in touch with us on facebook and you can subscribe our channel for YouTube. Thank you friends. Keep watching. Arun's